hi guys welcome back to this channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a surrealistic photo composite how to transform your photo from this to this i'll put all the links to download all the photos that i'll be using in the description so if you want to download it just go to the description and click on it or you can shoot your own photos that's fine okay so with any further ado let's get started so first i'm gonna do some editing in capture one express as you can see I already open it okay, and I already imported all the photos okay so as you can see this photo is very dark I cannot see all the details okay so I'm gonna do some editing first I usually start from lens correction and enable this chromatic aberration and this fraction correction the next thing I usually adjust the white balance but this photo is very dark so I'm gonna adjust the hilux and shadow first okay so I'm gonna bring down the hilux so I can see more details and bring up the shadow then bring up white and bring down the black contrast and brightness and then the curve I'm gonna bring up the highlights Next, the white balance. And color editor, I'm just gonna edit the blue color. Bring up the saturation and lightness. Okay, and then the clarity. I'm gonna bring it up a little. And the structure. Okay, I think it's it's done. So this is before, and this is after. Okay, I'm gonna export this photo. And then let's close Capture One Express and open up Affinity Photo. After that, I'm gonna import the main photo first. And remove the background using selection tool I will fast forward this part After you have done with the selection, just click mask layer to remove the background and then 
I'm gonna import the background that I'll be using copy this photo here By the way, I'm going to crop this the canvas to make it smaller. Okay, that's better. And then let's remove the the object on the background using in painting. Just gonna remove this part. Okay, go to edit that in painting and let's see if it works nope okay I think it works let's do it the impending one more time for this part okay that's better yeah then I'm gonna use curve tool you can use anything from the adjustments Okay, so I'm gonna use curve tool and make it the background darker. So I'm gonna bring down the highlights. And then uh, for the moon, I'm going to replace it with this moon. Okay, so you select center and select the moon. Then click mask there and right click on the mask layer, release mask and then merge down like this, then copy the moon. To the main canvas and align it together like this then change the blend mode to you can use overlay soft light or hard light or vivid light I'm gonna use this hard light blend mode And align it. Okay, then mask this layer and remove the remaining part using Bristol. Make sure the foreground color is black and just pan over it. Like this. Okay. 
okay and then I'm gonna use color balance to balance all of this to match the color into one just put it on top of all the layer okay so this is the final result as you can see it looks surrealistic and cool right okay so if you think photo composite is hard as you can see it's not that hard and you just need to keep practicing to make it looks better okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video.